Welcome to a very special episode of God is Dead. What's so special about it? Uh, no, I just thought I'd get you in the mood by saying it was very special. This is a stock standard episode of God is Dead. My name is Campbell Walker. Brass Mills here. And if you've never listened to the show before, the premise is pretty simple. Yes, everything we've ever shown you in the history of this whole podcast, all across the episodes, we've brought to you thinking... It probably proves that there is no God. It's proof of our screwed up world. Of course, we do like to bring you, like last week, things that we think prove that God is definitely not dead, but I think, you know, it's 90% dead. Damn, and this week we're going to bring you an episode that offends you. Do not listen if you're (laughs) easily offended. This is not for easily offended folks. No snowflakes in the God chat. No, sorry. (laughs) Yeah, today we are going to be talking about Though that, that specific type of meme that uh, is not for people who are easily offended. People who pride yeah. themselves on being sassy through their memes. They've all got something in common though. There's a bit of a theory we want to present to you. And again, if you're easily offended, do not proceed. We're trying to warn you, but you cannot go further <laughs> if you're easily offended. Seriously. Everything we'll be talking about is on our Instagram. God is dead, not clickbait. Don't forget, filming them as well. YouTube, the videos are here. You've got to find us on YouTube. Come on, look up God is dead. It's really easy. Just do it. All right, let's get in. God is dead. Case one. Dirty and down 69. Ooh, we're doing a sexy case, Bryce. Oh, and let's not forget that the man here is truthless, has truthless 69 as his Insta bio. Was that originally a uh, sex flex? Oh you? my goodness. It was either going to be that 420 or 666, baby. Oh, the, the hard numbers. All the, all the hard numbers for cool kids. Cool. Well, this account, um, it's uh, bio states, hilarious, dirty humor. DM, <laughs> DM or email for paid collaboration. Humor. Eh, wink face emoji with a tongue out. Oh. Dirty minds. Dirty saying tongue tongue. And then hilarious water emoji or cum emoji. Depending on who you're texting. Right on. Depending on how clear your cum is. Now, th- yeah, that's, <laughs> I guess that's also true. Um, <laughs> This account in just a couple of weeks has gotten another 14,000 subscribers or followers. What am I saying? You sound like a fucking boomer. But uh, 94,000 people want to have hilarious, dirty humor in their feeds every single day. And the format of this, which I put on the, on the YouTube and the Insta, they're all just straight up text posts with a black background and a white font, like an Insta story uh, kind of font. But usually, yeah, it's usually that. Sometimes it does change. Right. But my theory here... Mm-hmm. With all this stuff in my in my sort of time looking around, is that these accounts that claim to be not for the easily offended are all just really sad. Like it's always in memes where it's like the loneliest people smile the brightest, <gasps> the saddest people cheer the loudest. Yeah, because they don't want anyone to feel their pain. They never want to see anyone go through what they've been through. And it's like I thought you were meant to offend me. Right, but it's just a teenager signaling their angst. 100%. I'm serious. You go to these accounts and you'll get one meme about cum a Yo! week and <laughs> whoa, whoa, cum, what the fuck? That's sex. And then you'll just get these bullshit memes like Can you I'm, give me one? This is literally 7 hours ago. And just keep in mind here, the hashtags, it's all just hashtags because we love an account with 14 hashtags after it. That's why you follow, so you can read all their hashtags. Yeah, and they work, obviously. Imagine you're scrolling adult humor 18 and (laughs) going, whoa, 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 I'm looking for some new dirty, (laughs) offensive, edgy stuff. Love being an adult and looking for sex memes. Uh, Love it. Dirty 30, adult humor, hilarious, hilarious memes. Hashtag humor, hashtag funny memes, laughing memes, 18 plus, 18, dirty RP, dirty max, adult society, kinky boots, kinky shit, kinky hair, inappropriate, funny quotes. Etc. That's a lot of hashtags, Bryce. Hashtag pussycat. Nine comments on this. Just interesting. Amen to that. I like that. And I know a twat waffle. Fucking love you. One set person what, What's says, the meme, though? What's the meme? As real as it gets, 100 fist 100. The meme, which just, again, if you're easily offended, please don't listen. We swear. I know fake when I see it. I know bullshit when I hear it. I respect real when I feel it. Oh. This type of shit, small circle. I'm like, bro, you are 35 with a family. You don't need to have a small circle. There's no one using you 
for your fucking your small circles happen by default because you had kids and grew up. Yes, that's it. That's why you've got a small that's circle, why. bro. I know real when I respect it. The problem with that statement is it al- already puts you above so many people. It's, yeah, uh, yeah. it's not about self respect. It's about like I am the one whose respect you have to win. Fully. It just gives you authority, and you haven't even earned it. In, yeah. in fact, you've done the opposite of earning it by being so dumb on the internet. Fully. Shout out to listener Ivy that sent this through as well. Um, who's really really funny by the way. Great. Um. Like someone I know in real life. Fabulous. Uh, super funny. Super freaking edgy. All right. And dirty humor. Oh, yeah. 18 plus humor. <laughs> if you love that, go check her out. But, um, come emoji. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Who else believes in staying loyal and faithful in a relationship? Hand up emoji. 155 comments. Are they all hands up? Look at the comments, yeah. Oh Raised my god. Hands. Oh there no. seem to be very few of us in this vast world. Vast world? Oh god, when people try to sound smart, and this I want to die. This is funny. This is the type of person who I think is running an account like this saying, What and this is, I love how they've censored it, even though it's on an edgy account. What fucking good did it do me? Physically, mentally, and emotionally destroyed me. <laughs> Little over three years and I haven't even tried to start again. Sad face emoji. I'm very loyal to my beautiful boyfriend. Now, if he's not loyal, that's on him. Karma is a patient gangster. Oh! <laughs> what the hell? Oh, my Put God. Put that on a shirt with Stewie Griffin. And I guarantee, <laughs> yes, seriously, all of these all of these comments, unironically, are like, yep, I'm one of the last ones. Yeah, pretty rare these days, isn't it? And I, I, I avoid shit because my temper can go from zero to life in prison in two seconds. Oh, my God. What is your that's frame of reference cool. for normal? The comments on this, hell, and I might add, yeah, someone oh, says. Oh, no. <laughs> Me no. too. Me. It's short can, lol. For real, though. No drama. True. This is a fact. These comments <laughs> feel bored. I swear to God, these comments are bored. So, like a fucking time bomb, someone says. That is not normal. Bryce, I'd really like to judge this. Yeah, fuck. Oh, there's so many here. You don't okay, want to hear anymore. No, 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 I need a snuggle fuck. Oh. Fuck a relationship. I just need a loyal fuck buddy. Oh no. Dating me is easy. I'll literally do everything for you. All no. you've got to do is give me your attention and don't be a hoe. Be oh. careful who you let in your life. People will come and drain the shit out of you. Then leave and, leave and blame everything on you. I'm sorry, but where is the dirty sayings? A oh. fuck, snuggle fuck? Snuggle fuck. Like, like, what is that? That's not even dirty. That's like, that's like, that's like disgusting cute. I yeah. wish my metabolism worked as fast as my anxiety. I just find this shit so fascinating. I swear this is a real thing. If you go to any of these meme accounts that have branded themselves as, whoa, not, to, not for the easily offended, it's for the easy... It's, I'm offended at how shit it is. That, <laughs> that's, and I'm not easily offended. So I guess they are true. But I mean, yeah, let's just judge this. I hate it so much. If it's your first time listening, watching, what we do is we ask the question, is God dead based on the following evidence? Cam, the final judgment for the down, dirty and down 69. I should, I keep thinking it's down and dirty, but it's dirty and down because that account was taken. What do you think? Okay, so firstly, I'm going to be cynical and I'm going to say that this meme page is buying comments for sure. Some of those comments are so dang generic. Bro, how are they jumping so many followers? And following zero, I mean, I don't know how they're making any money from doing that. Yeah, because like none of these posts are really tagging anybody. And no. so I assume what they've got is stories that have swipe up links. And so they're charging people, you know, a hundred bucks for a swipe up story. Sure. People who are like, oh yeah, you look, that doesn't cost me much. They go buy the hundred bucks. These guys get a hundred bucks. Nothing happens. It's dead money in advertising, mm. and then these guys use part of that money to reinvest to buy the comments, to buy the to buy the you know follows and all that sort of stuff, and then they can start charging more money for the stories. Yeah. So like, what I see is basically just like dead money going into someone's pocket for a passionless project, right? And that's okay. That's I mean, whatever. passionless, uh, uh, bro. One of these memes says that moment when she finds out you are not lying about your tongue skills. So this that's is where passion, bro. This is where I stop come, being cynical. So come that, on. That, that's the cynical take, and that's not necessarily about this page, but this is more about like big meme pages in general who mm. have names like puberty or sex dot com or like you know just like dumb stuff or like dirty minds club. <laughs> like, and you're like, oh, you're sure you're not freaking subscribed to these, man? Hey, bro, don't check my following. Uh, <laughs> no, um, yeah, okay. So there's that, but then you get this sort of thing where it's like. Like, these people 
do actually start getting followers, but then they've got they've already built up a format, and the format they often will recognize as things that might only be visual. So it's like a black text, a black box with white text, right? Yeah. So they're like, okay, so that's my format. My format isn't my name. My format's not my bio. My format's not why people followed. I've just got attention. Hmm, what what annoys me personally? What annoys me? And this is the freaking problem, man, that I hate about anything that doesn't have a face with it. It it has a face. We just can't see it. Yeah. It is someone's opinion. Yeah. But they're trying to act as though this is just what opinions are. Yeah. And I hate that because it, it gets authority from all the wrong people. And so all of a sudden you have like 13 year olds being like snuggle fuck. That's the thing because this meme page said it was because they have the authority of not having to show the, the admin who's some 12 year old, just like you. <laughs> yeah. And so you end up educating dumb shit to dumb people and people get dumber and dumber and dumber and dumber. God's mm. dead. Well, you're, you're just dumb shit to a, uh, like, uh, what's the word? Fucking, um, Dumb shit to impressionable people. Ah, I'll say it like that. Yeah. That's much... Oh, sorry if you're easily offended by me calling you dumb. Well, <laughs> yeah, no, I think it's just the impressionable folks come on there and then it's... Uh, yeah, I guess um for someone that's never been in a serious relationship, damn, yeah, I just need a snuggle fuck. I just need a snuggle fuck. Like, that's what's been wrong, it's bro. It's normal to go to someone, uh, for example, I, what someone says here... Fuck having sex. Let's take a romantic walk through the cemetery so I can show you where you're going to lay if you play with me. 136 comments. So imagine thinking that was a normal first date. Someone saying... Um, That's pretty hot, bro. A little death threat. I mean... A little death threat because it, of the implication. It could be. You know, it doesn't sit well with me. This one, crying emoji. Love it. It's just all emoji stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird because, like, you wonder about the one person who's, like, trying to, like, DM that to their crush, being like, ha-ha, this is you and me. Ha-ha-ha. Uh huh. Is it? Is it? Hey, repl- scene. What? <laughs> Unless jokes. Yeah. Like, and yeah. so yeah. I just think it's it's making dumber people dumber, uh, and people who have the potential to be smart even dumber. I don't like it. God's dead, and it's dumb. Yeah. It's stupid. I, I should get new dumb. words. It's I feel dumber. Junk food. Junk food. Type meme. You know. It is. Hate it. God is dead. Case two. I'm fifty snowflake. <laughs> I'm 50, Snowflake. <laughs> <laughs> Can, you okay. Can you imagine this one? This one, I think a lot of people will have seen this. This is a bit of a classic one. It came out at the end of last year and it, it did the rounds on the meme circuit. But like, I just don't think it got enough attention. But if we're doing an episode about being easily offended, then this has to go in. So this was during peak OK Boomer. Just to update, so far, I haven't been offended once. Yo, no, neither, neither. No. Which is interesting. Anyway. So, so this is good. So this is like... um. Uh, during peak OK Boomer. So this person goes, hey, friends, remember when I OK Boomer to climate change denier who emailed me? Uh, Well, he replied, and I'm absolutely screaming, ha, ha, ha. All right, so they're on our side. You know, the the bar, I don't know if I'm being cynical this episode. I hate to do that too much, but the bar for OK Boomer was so low at one point. Do you remember, like, anyone? I remember there was this video, and I'm not trying to be a hater, but there was someone in parliament. Oh, I think I won't go too specific. I won't go too specific here because uh, I'm not trying to be a hater. Knows the video. But do you remember that person who it was? They were roughly I don't know thirty something, and and they said okay, boomer to a to a guy, a politician, and everyone was like yes, owned. And I don't know if they nailed it personally, but the bar was just so low because uh, no one had said it. It was like the second person to have said it yeah, in public. No, no, no. I I I backed her like specifically. Oh. I will say I, I I don't think it was. I I actually kind of liked the way that she she slipped it in, but. Like, I, like just to disagree with you. Yeah. I, I actually quite liked that video, but I will agree <laughs> with you that the bar was set stupid low. Like, you could be, like, like literally my age and <laughs> someone would, okay, boom you. That, oh, that never happened. I'm not meaning. talking yeah. from experience. I wish I was. I wish I got okay, boom and more. Mm. Can, can everyone just okay, boomer us on the Hit YouTube those comments? comments? Yeah, yeah please, like, like, yeah, we, we need a dead meme from 2019. <laughs> All right, so this person goes, okay, boomer to a cli- climate, uh, uh, what do you call it? A climate change denier. Yeah. And and then the climate change denier rides back. I'm 50, Snowflake. I own five companies in Texas and make a shitload of money. I pay taxes, work out, bang my wife an animal. I assume he means like an animal. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> bang my wife an animal, like cook my wife for dinner. <laughs> like have healthy relationships <laughs> and basically live like a all caps rock star without having to get on stage. I also have the intelligence to look at both sides of an argument and figure out the real facts. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're an average income, in brackets, basically broke reporter, <laughs> in brackets, fake news, who blames people like me for your problems and shortcomings. 
bottom line is that your parents spoiled your ass and think you know it all. If you were my son, I would slap the shit out of you. Hmm, one of those healthy relationships he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, come here. <laughs> come here, come here. That's what that's what a rock star dad yeah. does. Yeah, if you now want off to bang your mum like a fucking animal. <laughs> Wow. Cool. Wow. Yeah. So what's, what's your first reaction? Oh, super secure words coming from a super confident, secure guy. Yeah. He is really just a poster boy for climate change. A lot of those things are, can kind of just be assumed. You, you just don't have to say it's, I mean, you know, here's a little spoiler. It's episode 68, right? Yeah. I think for 69, we go into people that want to announce how much they have sex. How much they're just doing it. To the point where it's bro, like. It, 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 we just it's assumed knowledge at this point <laughs> that like okay but you know that's I think where 69 will be we'll do a whole special on it so it, it, it kind of could lead into that territory it's like you're in a yeah you know it's assumed that you would be banging your wife dude yeah you don't have to say like an animal again that's that's information that there's literally nowhere I even promise you amongst absolute close friends if I said to you bro this girl I'm banging her like an animal man you'd be like oh my god uh, yeah. uh, okay like there's we're quite n- close yeah there's <laughs> no person you know like parents you wouldn't say it to close friends you wouldn't say it to you i i would feel embarrassed saying it to, to my fiance yeah. i'd like to bang you like an animal yeah. i like <laughs> please like please can i can i bang you like an animal <laughs> maybe a swath i read it on instagram like <laughs> i hate uh. qui- i hate the climate <laughs> Right, <laughs> I'm a rock star. <laughs> Please, rock star. yeah, it's a, yeah, it's, yeah, it's it's like a, a definitively, objectively cringy thing to say. Bang like an animal. It's Nickelback. No it's one. a Nickelback lyric, and I I detest Nickelback hate because uh, yeah, like you know yeah. that's, that's just like some herd yeah. shit. And honestly, guys, they've got some okay songs, but. Whoa, oh my god, I can't believe you said that. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, but like to bang your wife like an animal and then to, to like obviously yeah. to then reveal it to like some stranger because you lost an argument. That's a that's a weird move. Yeah. <laughs> you had to pull that out as your defense card. Like, yeah, no, 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 I can't be wrong because of the wife banging. I'm getting a massive nut and I'm doing it like animals, bro. Yeah, Discovery yeah, yeah, Channel yeah. vibes. Like, pff. yeah, anyway, I'm going to go beat my son. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, yeah, look, it, it just, again, it feels like rational people. Sane arguments don't come from that sort of place. Again, when have you ever heard that as a defense? Dude, well, you think I'm lame? <laughs> I'm, I'm banging this chick like an animal, man. Dude, Bryce Fox, his like, logic is not flawed. My logic's flawless because I'm getting that nut. That's how it works. Like, so I'd love to, yeah, I'd love to find out why he was so hellbent on that. Bryce, the man who is hellbent on banging his wife like an animal in order to prove that climate change is not real. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the whole thing. It's actually, when we really trace it back, it's to prove climate change is fake. Uh, is God dead? Yeah, I think dead, 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 for sure. Um, you know, you got, always got to trace back to the circumstances that lead someone to, to be pulling this shit. So, like, I think w- what's what's problematic here is he lumps in some decent things with his bullshit. Right. So like he lumps in who blames people like me for your problems and shortcomings. I would agree that that is something that a lot of people do on the internet. And I would agree with this guy that that is a terrible thing to do and also stupidly common. Right. I think um, having the intelligence to look at both sides of an argument and figure out the real facts is good. Yeah. I think that's healthy. Yeah. Do I think this guy's done it? No. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Right. He knows what the hallmarks are or the benchmarks, but then he doesn't know when to stop filling the bucket with water. Like, <laughs> And I have sex, and I, da, 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 and, I, da, 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 and I and I ride a bike, and I'm fit, and I'm a rock star. Like, yeah, it's like, how could I be wrong? I'm the best at everything that I've been told yeah. to be the best at. Like, I mean, it's a thing, you know. He doesn't actually present any facts. He's just like, oh, because I'm because I'm happy and confident in myself. That means I'm right. Which, yeah, I think just harks back to I don't know why God's dead, but God, this guy is just not it. Yeah, I, I, I feel the same. I think it's because, like, regardless of what side you're on, you're always going to have, and I'm not defending climate change deniers, but I will defend them from this guy. Because right. And it, more on principle, right? Regardless of what side you're on, on an argument, there's always going to be people who make that argument look like the dumbest pa- place to be. And yes, climate change denial is a dumb place to be, but I'll take something that I believe in. I believe, like, that we should all eat plant-based do I think that there are vegans out there making equally dumb things? Hell yes, I do. Do I dislike that they're, they're bringing down the brand of veganism? Fucking oath. We look like cunts out there. That sucks. Yeah. Even people hear me say that I'm vegan and they're like, oh, you're one of them? No, yeah. I'm not one of them. 
I'm not defending them, but I'm just saying that the problem with people being lumped into tribes based on their opinions is that those tribes can be tainted. And I don't like that. I don't like the tribes at all. God's yeah, dead. A couple of angles of dead. Big time. I hope you're offended from God is Dead because that's what we do, Snowflake. Yeah, you snowflakes better unsubscribe because <laughs> we're just getting started on the offensive memes, all right? <laughs> <laughs> sex memes. <laughs> what do you think of that? We've been doing sex out here. Anyway, thank you so much for listening. Yeah, um, appreciate yeah, it, man. Yeah, drop a comment if you're on YouTube. Follow us, God is Dead, not clickbait. Follow Bryce, Bryce V. Mills. Campbell Walker, Struthless69. Thank you very much. And yeah, hit that subscribe. Hit the review if you haven't. Shouts to all the new reviewers, followers, people tag. And we saw a really nice, just for example, really nice comment uh, where somebody was talking about how they have been doing the cross stitch stitching soundtrack challenge and they recommended the podcast. They've been listening while doing cross stitch, obviously, I think. Uh, So thanks for using us as your soundtrack, fox.stitch.up. We love it. And, uh, oh, then it followed the account. So, <laughs> 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 so they, need to, they need to tag it, but anyway, uh, that's all right. Thanks for listening. <laughs> to be honest, I wouldn't follow our Instagram account. Oh, it's, God. It's, it's such trash. It's just, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, exactly. You don't know what you're going to get. Anyway, everything is on God is Dead, not Clickbait. So go suss that and um, suss us. We're doing our own thing. So, anyway, thank you. Thank you. Love Bye. you. Love you. Case closed.